Okay, so next one. Uh, what I want to do is <clears throat> I want to comp this onto a shot. I'm going to go here, panels, layout, two panels side by side. Okay, and maybe I'll go panels, perspective, no! I want a new perspective on things. I'm just going to kind of place it here, something like this, and I'm going to go and I'm going to go to my uh, image plane, I'm going to go import image. And I'll bring in something. I'm gonna go find a picture, and I go hunting around on my computer. And what do I got? Uh, let's see, we're down here, someplace here. I'll play this while I'm talking in the background. Oh, it won't let me do that. Okay, fine. Uh, what was I gonna do? Down into here, and I spotted a picture. Oh crap! Where the hell was it? It was over here, and okay, okay. trying to be a bit faster. Um. Uh, I'll pause. Pause! Okay, found it. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Something I took with my camera. Look at that. My golly. Okay, it looks kind of small back there, Bob. It looks like I can't see the bug because you can actually, you can see the cameras right there. You can see that picture's right there. It's not good. Not good. I'm going to go and change the depth. Let's go zero, zero. Boom. And now it's way the hell out there. Okay, good. It's funny, it took a moment for that to update. And you can see it's actually, maybe I pushed it too far. And it's bringing it back a thousand. Well, that's not bad. Okay. And here I can, you notice that as I rotate around, that's a big bug that you've got there, sir. Very big. Okay, I'm not gonna do anything too crazy. Let's put it right, say there. Okay. <clears throat> I might even have it walking further out, but You'll notice that if I go and I try and render right now, damn it to hell, if I go in and I render out of this view, let's see, do we get any chopping or anything funny? Yeah, it looks to be okay. Well, this looks kind of crappy, but yeah, I didn't finish texturing it. Again, I just do this one. This beetle here is just so you get the idea. So, I've got that hooked up, and I've got a kind of... Uh, looks like it. it's plausible. You can see a little bit of perspective from the grid. Okay, I'm gonna pretend that's good. Actually, how about I put the grid in the middle so you can kind of see the perspective on it? Okay, great. And I could pull off a big farkin' trick over here. What if I go into the graph editor? And I maybe want to start the beetle run animating off on the other side, so if I'm here... I was to grab this translate Z curve on the God control. That thing you saw me do last year. If I just move this down, I can zoom out a bit. I'm holding down shift as I'm zooming, as I'm moving just outside of the frame. So he'll come walk a 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 walk. Oh my God, that's almost perfect. Um, let's see how that looks. Walk a walk a walk. Almost perfect. Anyway, you can play around with that however you want. I'm just going to stop him right around here, and I'm going to figure out how to light him. So, <clears throat> um, what I'm going to do, if I was going to put buildings and crap like that, I have to do a lot more stuff, okay? I go in here to create polygons. I'm going to create a plane, and it's very, very tiny. I'm going to make it big, a big plane. Right now, mine's plane is transparent because I've got that silly transparent thing on here. Okay, I got that animation on it. Let's go put it back over here. And I'm just going to right click and I'm going to go assign favorite materials. I'm going to use background. Okay, so use background, it usually comes up immediately and it's got a reflectivity issue. I always find it better to default that to zero. Refraction limit two. It should be fine. Let's see what it looks like now when I render. I, I shouldn't really notice a thing, okay? Now, currently, I don't have any real lights in the scene. Even though I'm seeing this, if I go into the render settings, you will find here under common at the very bottom, render options, enable default light is on, okay? If I render again, you'll get absolutely nothing. What I want to do is maybe fake kind of a, like a pretend daylight thing. And I'm just trying to see if there's any clues as to where the shadows might be. Well, I'd say the light's over here. Actually, knowing where I am, this is probably south over this direction. And I have no clue as to the shadow, so I'm just going to do a guess. Let's go in here to create uh, directional light. And I'm just going to make my directional light bigger so it's easier to play with. 
<laughs> and I'll do it kind of on this angle here. Okay, a little bit leaning in, not too far. Okay, and let's hit Rendora and we see what happens. Five minute zone, okay. And that's not bad. Um, not great, but it's not bad. I can see shadows here. What I, first thing I might do is go into my light here and go to the shadows. Go to the ray trace options here, ray trace for shadows. And light angle, remember, this is super sensitive. So I probably wouldn't go much over one or two. And we can just go ahead and I'll save the picture. Render again with it at 1.5-ish. That's just going to blur your shadow a bit. Eh, you can't really notice much. Uh-oh, 12, that's going to be too much. Check it out again. Actually, 12 is not bad. It's still a bit high. I'm going to go to 7-ish and see how that looks. It almost seems like you've got like a fake AO type of thing going on. Your shadows aren't going to be that strong on a day like this anyway. It's overcast. It's still too high for my brain. Okay, I'm going to bring it down to 4-ish and I'll just say that I'm going to leave it there. And you will see a lot of noise on the shadow edge. On the shadow edge there is noise. You hear noise from the shadows. Here, I'm going to put that to a shadow raise to around 20. And I hope that's enough. I could go in and uh, play with that a little bit and find out where the good spot is, but that should get rid of my noise. Just strange. Still noisy. Okay. Actually, here you can see it a bit better what's happening. The shadow is blurring quite a bit. Okay, I like that better. Um, and I could go in here and put some other lighting in here. Um, I think I should be good. Uh, if I want to do some fill light, another cheap trick I can do is if I grab the camera that I'm rendering from. View! Camera Tributator! Close that down. I'm going to go into the environment. Right now the environment's black. If I were to go into my render settings, and actually I'm going to pause for a second and double check. Okay, so I just went and I just did a quick check on something to make sure this works and it'll make everybody happy. Um, so what I've got is... I'm going to go in and uh, I'm going to go into my render settings. And I'm going to show you something freaking amazing. Okay, whatever. Uh, render settings, I hit the wrong button. I'm going to go into the indirect lighting area here. And I'm just going to hit final gathering. Okay, you see it's all very dark right there. <gasps> Actually, let's just double check. Okay, let's just save this picture. Um, and I'm going to put on final gathering. And if I render again, probably won't see much of a difference on this one. A little bit of a difference, but not much. It goes in and averages out your light source a little bit here. And I'm just going to go in and maybe do a quick test. Does this pre, uh, pre-render and then... And you can see it's kind of lightened up a little bit. Oh, uh, actually it did make that darker. On mine, you can hardly see it. I'm going to put another bounce on me. I shouldn't show this. Anyway, if I lighten it up a little bit, I'm going to lighten this up to gray, the background color on the camera. And now when I hit render, see what it looks like now. Hmm? Okay, so you're seeing that they get a little bit more light on the bug. And you're going to see you actually start to pick up a bit more light in the torso area here where it was dark. Let's just take a look between the two. See, it was black and now it's starting to fill in with a bit of light. It's kind of blending in a bit. Eh. Oh, I can't remember how to get rid of this darker area here. In my case here, you can barely notice what the hell I've done. Just, But that's just lucky right back there, because there's that line of the, um, uh, <coughs> the plane over there. Um, anyway, so when I render, I'm going to do something like that. And final bit, common. Um, you could do this if you want to. I don't think it's going to cut off anything really badly on mine, so I'm going to leave it there. Okay, great. And I'm using renderable camera perspective. I don't need an alpha mask on this one here, but whatever. Um, and I'm on image format, my IFF. I'm going to flip to... I'm a big fan of Targas, so I'm always going to stay there with Targas. They're always dependable and always reliable. You could go to a JPEG if you really wanted to, cause it, but I always find that High quality targets or PNGs are also pretty good too. I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna choose the third option. Frame padding four. 
And I'm going to end frame. I'm going to render this up for 200 frames. Okay, great. And everything looks good. Maybe the last thing I might do is a preset. I might go and load a preset and I might put on production. I'm just going to double check and make sure everything's fine and happy dandy hand you whoop, here. Okay. And do, well, let's save this one more time and I'll do another quick render just to test it out and make sure that nothing's going to go guffaw. And I'm seeing all this rendering and that looks really nice. Except for the fact that it doesn't really have any texture on it, and it's, yeah, whatever. Yeah, I'll just deal with it. Okay, and there it's rendered it out. And it's actually done a bit of, it's crisper. You can see now with the production quality settings on. This is without going in and explaining a lot of stuff that's going on in here. I'm going to say that's good. And when I'm pretty much done and ready to fly, if I... Uh, go into right now I'm in animation. I'm gonna flip into rendering. What time is this? Eleven minutes. Okay, good, 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 good. Render, and I hit the batch render. These are all gonna render out, and they're going to pop into a folder that I'm gonna talk about a bit later. I might show you how to put music on and all those little things. Anyway, I'm gonna stop this video here, and it's gonna render out. Uh oh, there's a problem rendering completed. Um, I'll solve that later. Anyway, it should go through and render out every one of your frames.